Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about my thoughts on the netcode changes from the latest patch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just know that in the recent version 9.0 update, Nintendo made some changes to this game's online. More specifically, for general connectivity, there was an average reduction of about half a frame, and for dealing damage and defeating opponents, there was an average reduction of about three and a half frames. If you have no idea what any of that means, just know this, when playing the game online, it should theoretically be less laggy. There should be way fewer instances where someone still shoots at you after you kill them, weapons shooting you through walls, enemies swimming through your ink, etc. But the key word there is theoretically. After actually playing with the patch for a week, is the game actually less laggy? Or did the Splatoon devs once again claim to have fixed something when they really didn't? Let's get into it. As always, if you enjoy this video and want to see more content, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, join my Discord server. The link is in the description. Okay, so upon reading the initial patch notes, I was pretty excited for these netco changes. To be honest with you, I know I complain a lot about this game, but my number one issue with Splatoon 3 has always been the netcode. The amount of lag in this game is infuriating. I was so tired of getting shot through walls by chargers and seeing people still firing at me after I killed them, so to see any form of improvement in this regard was encouraging. I didn't have much hope for the general connectivity change. I mean, it's just half a frame. It's better than nothing, of course, but I wasn't expecting any noticeable improvement. I did expect noticeable improvement with the change regarding inflicting damage though, as three and a half frames is quite significant. After trying out these changes for the past week, I gotta say, Nintendo nailed this one. These netcode changes are super noticeable. I'm very rarely experiencing any of the common issues that I listed before, like chargers shooting me through walls or enemies swimming through my ink, for example. It's not just that though, a lot of different weapons and specials also benefit from this change. For example, Duelies. Before this patch, it was very common to just die during a dually dodge roll because even though you rolled on your screen, the game wouldn't transfer that data fast enough to your opponent, so they just kill you before the dodge roll occurred on their screen. But now, I'm barely dying during dodge rolls. Other weapons that have a reputation for being laggy, such as brushes, rollers, and sloshers, are now noticeably easier to fight. I'm not getting killed by octobrushes and trisloshers from super far away anymore. Or at least, not as much. Even some specials are benefiting from this. Ultra Stamp is the true winner of the patch, I think, because from what people are saying, it actually protects you from the front now. Holy crap! With Reef Slider, I've noticed that both the lethal and partial damage radii are much more consistent. People actually die when they should be dying. Crazy, right? Now, while all that is fine and dandy, this change is a two-way street. I do notice myself also dying more quickly sometimes, especially when I'm facing shooters. This isn't a huge issue though, and it's a fair trade-off for all the other benefits that this netcode fix has provided us. Oh, and guys, I know I've just been gassing up the fixes this entire video, but to be clear, I'm not trying to say that the netcode is amazing now or anything. It's still a Nintendo Switch online game with a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So compared to other consoles online, it's remarkably awful. But it's a noticeable improvement over what we've had for the past two years, and it's probably the best the devs can do with the hardware, so I'll happily take this. There is one sour note in all of this good news, and it's something that I've heard a lot of others say. And that is, why did it take them so long to make this change? It's great that they're finally doing it, but it seems a little weird to have waited until basically the end of the game's content cycle before making such a big change like this. There are so many people who have already stopped playing this game, and if they just did it sooner, more people could have experienced this enhanced gameplay. Some might have even chose to stick around longer, because I know of multiple people who dropped this game because of how laggy it was. I'm not a game dev, and I'm not going to pretend like I am. I'm sure there was some internal issue with the game that made it hard to buff the netcode or something, but it's just strange that they're doing this now. That's all I'm saying. Especially given that Splatoon 2, which was on the same console, 
had less lag. Guys, what do you think of the netcode changes? Has it also been an improved experience for you? Or do you not notice much of a difference? Let me know everything down below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.